do me a favor if you haven't already don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alarmed on all my upcoming videos hello hello world welcome back to another casital creation so now i'm going to show you how i finished off these pacifier clips as promised we're going to get into how we sold these pacifier clips step by step stick around and i hope you enjoy so here i have laid my pacifiers down and i have put them in a position that i'm going to add all of the extra notions so that i know where to close off the pacifier clips so here you have it we are closing off the end where the clip will be you don't want to keep taking this um part a loose so we we close this area off at the bottom now where the baby's pacifier clips are going to be we leave that open so if the mom wants to change out the baby's pacifier now once you close off the pacifier clips you want to cut and secure your ends so we like to knot our threads we like to double knot our threads just so that the threads won't ravel especially it'll last a long time during washes so you just close them you some people put glue on them but we don't because we are very um okay with how they close off and we sew them down this way okay now that i have the velcro where i want it to be i am going to secure it by sewing it from corner to corner this way that the velcro stays down So again, I am just sewing down the velcro on each side, corner to corner, and making sure that it is placed and it is stayed and it is laid and it is not going anywhere. Now, because I did that back stitch, I do not have to knot it. Do you see that perfect spot? So now I'm just cutting my threads, cleaning up my areas to make sure that it is ready for the next end to place the Velcro. So here I'm just making sure that it's in the area so that once it closes over, that it's going to connect to the other part of the Velcro. Again, you're just going to sew down your four corners end to end. And just have fun with it. I'm using a straight stitch, but you can use a zigzag stitch. Just be aware of how it's going to look on the other side once you flip it, because that's the side that's going to be seen on your material. 